Hi. Tech Private here again. Uh, thinking of improving the um, audio on the PCs we have. So we got a couple of them in, in the house, the kids. So I um, was looking around for a. I mean, the speakers inside um, the monitors are just, generally speaking, quite miserable, so I don't recommend that. And, and in lots of cases, you don't want to have headphones on your head. Uncomfortable to have them all day. Most of them. So, um, you know, you can buy com uh, computer dedicated speaker systems around, but then I have the back speaker installation problem. So, basically, I opted for, um, I usually opt for soundboards. So, um, this is LG SJ3, and they had, you know, basically, I did a uh, search in our local area of shops that are available, and I found this one here. It wasn't on offer but it was on a limited quantities um, uh, sale which means that uh, they basically they, they give like you can buy two maximum of two as a customer. And usually that's a good indicator that it's something that's, that's um, has a little bit. And then I looked up the uh, properties. Um, it has some um, analog in Bluetooth and then a Toslink connection, but not HDMI. But um, I think we can, but you can remote control it with a remote control of a TV. If you, you can just buy one separately if you're using a computer. Or you can just control it with the audio level on, on the computer. Um, separate wireless subwoofer. That's, I think, is really good. We'll have to have the check of the mount options when we get it opened. Because I have two different locations and I have two different requirements in terms of mount. So anyway, let's get this open and see what it, what it contains. really lucky that I had one in the shelf and then I happened to say no but I want to have two. So I decided to ask the personnel and then they decided yeah well we actually do have one. But you're gonna have to accept a broken package. So this is this is the one that has the slightly damaged packaging. Not LG's fault. <laughs> they weren't gonna sell it to me but I said I want I want that too. So they made a comment on the receipt, receipt package. Ah, oh, it, it does have a a um, remote. So let's see. We have a remote. This wasn't very clear in the specifications when I was buying it that it actually did have a remote, but it seems to have. So that's that's nice. Okay, what else do we have? Power cable. Over here. And then we have the obligatory. Oh, it comes with batteries for the remote. And then an instruction manual. And then we take this phone out. Right, this won't be a very long, long unboxing video. <laughs> Careful with those, Let's scare the dog. Uh, okay, here's this. Oh, that's heavy. I like speakers that are heavy, in the case that it actually contains some. Oh, yeah. So we'll get rid of the box and that. So, more styrofoam. Oh, it's well packed. I don't think that damage on the front has. Any meaning? It's just pushed a little bit at the sub. So, and then you can lift up that subwoofer. It's got a band around. And it's, it's a lot of empty space in this box. So, anyway, now we can. Oh, get rid of the box. Subwoofer. Nice.
let's see here. So I think I'll open the subwoofer first. No, it's okay. It's my dog, he doesn't like the sound. Wondering where all this styrofoam is about. More styrofoam. This this is really not a eco-friendly packaging if you can ask me. I've never seen so much styrofoam. Packaging, so if it would have been damaged, then I think it would have been on one of the sides. But it's, um, yeah, it's a weird box damage. No, oh, oh, that's actually quite nice. Subwoofer. Actually, just take it off its package and put it with the subwoofer. It's actually quite a nice unit. No, it was a uh, very cost effective price. Oh, what would it be? 120 US? Not I really remember the conversion, right? And the good thing with sound bars is that um, uh, you can um, ah, we'll put the batteries in the remote while that. Because I'm going to go and install them now separately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the sound bar is good because that will live from s over several computers. Mm -hmm. Safety information. Or don't blah 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 blah. We will not read that. Okay. And then it all. Okay. So we have the Scandinavian instructions. So there's actually no instructions in English, but I can read Swedish. So that will not be a problem. tech support. It was a pity I had to actually fast deliver some other stuff to the kids and I didn't, they didn't want me to make videos about it. They said they want to have the stuff fast. <laughs> the only time I was to go buy the stuff and put it in their rooms. But anyway, I Maybe I'll have to do some daddy upgrade. and the speakers being reasonably good. Whoa, that is, that's aluminium. Is that really true? Or is that possible? Okay. <laughs> Whoa, is that heavy? I mean, just 
surprising if you look at the size. I'm actually relatively surprised how heavy this thing is. Okay, now which way around? It goes around this way. Got a small display. I'll be making some videos about after installation. And I'll have to look in the instructions how they would like to have this installed. I need to have one option for wall mount and one option for um, putting it on the shelf. It comes with no mounting material, so, so we'll have to see. Okay, well, anyway, that's it out of its box, and um, it's got some basic controls on the top on, off, plus, minus, down. I think that's F is probably. Input channel selection, and then here you have analog in, three and a half inch connector plus an optical toss link, and then it has Bluetooth. I'm going to be using Bluetooth, and we actually think we can do the unboxing of the uh, Bluetooth device that I'm going to use also. So this is a Bluetooth transmitter. Netis Bluetooth sender. Not really 100% sure, but I think this is probably a Bluetooth device that's dedicated for audio. I'm not actually really sure how these work. I was looking for a Bluetooth adapter, but they were all out in stock, so I wanted to have a, you know, a, a USB plug-in Bluetooth adapter. But they were out of stock, all old variants. So, and this is more expensive than, a, than just a Bluetooth adapter. Wow, that's a thick instruction, of course, in millions of different. So it has also a three and a half inch connector. So it seemingly you could connect the headphones directly onto this one, like physically onto this one. So no, oh, it even comes with the cable dropped out. Like. So then locally you could plug this into the USB. Then you have the transmitter, and it no, it's audio in. So okay, it means that you can either put the audio through the I'm going to have to investigate that. Okay, now USB is only for power, and then you put the audio through here. Which isn't that good. So I think I bought the wrong box. Because I would have liked to have had one that takes the audio digital. Digitally. Darn. Uh, oh, I have to... Um, I will probably order online the um, Bluetooth adapter. But I will give this a try and see what the audio quality is. This is only going to run on stereo, so it's not done. Um, no real need for 5.1. But always when you convert analog to digital, then you might get a performance degrade. But we can, um, since we have it and paid for it, we can um, give it a try. So. USB for power, and that's the audio, it plugs into the audio output of the computer. And then it has a transmit module with a pairing button. Pair the USB. No, Bluetooth. Okay, that was that. Uh, yeah, we will continue with the installation and add some more video content. Okay, I gotta start the install oh so much stuff uh, so boy, the kids are not a, a too much stuff yeah i got the subwoofer here so we're going to put that underneath the table 
and then I'm going to have to clear the space up there. I need to also clear so I can get at the computer, the panel stuff. So all this stuff I thought I'd use the LG box to <laughs> pack stuff away so I can get it installed. Yeah, just wanted to vacuum the floor, and of course, classical situation. It's all blocked up, plus it's all. So, I have to fix this. So, it's looking a bit better. Like this. Yeah, nice and clean. Now it'll be able to get some dirt. Okay, now we got things a bit, a bit better organized. So, subwoofers in place, plugged in. I just cleared the table. And you um, have this old CD player, so can't position the speakers because I need the whole shelf up there for the main unit of the sound bar. I also moved out the computer so now I have access, access to the back connectors. No, hard to video. And here I will just use the, f I will test and see if I can use the phone phone out to uh, get the sound from that. Well, now to go and get the sound bar. So that's the sound bar in place. And the USB analog adapter to Bluetooth active. Now there was one problem that I did find is that the sound bar here is um, if I wanted to use the analog input for the CD player, and it didn't work because the um, Bluetooth sender here was capturing the, um, telling it to a switch, telling this thing to switch back to Bluetooth all the time. So when I switched to AUX input, then uh, after a while it switched automatically back to Bluetooth, so it wasn't a... No. So just as a bit of a warning that it doesn't seem to be able to permanently switch the input on this device to um, the auxiliary analog input, which is a pity because I could do that on one of my other um, sound bars. But anyway, I resolved it, so I took away the the CD player, and then we'll um, play the uh, audio CD, the little amount of audio CDs required on the computers. So no big deal. Anyway, that was a short unboxing install. If you liked it, please consider subscribing, hit the bell button if you want to have more updates, and um, have a good day.